Imagine if there was an AI that can handle your customers' questions. It can chat with your customers live, just like a human. It can automate everything from creating support tickets to resolving cases. Well, actually, this already exists. Today, I'm going to go over these free AI chatbots, which you can train with your own data and use it to deal with customers. You can add it to your site or integrate it with other platforms like WhatsApp or Messenger. I specifically chose these ones because they have a free plan so you can get it up and running without any upfront cost. So let's jump right in. All right, so the first tool is called Command Bar, and what this is, is it basically adds an AI powered chatbot to your site. All you need to do is feed it your support documentation or a page on the site where all the support docs are, and it would automatically learn everything in that document and then reuse it when a customer asks any questions. So it is a freemium model. Let's just check out the pricing page real quick. So for the free plan, you can have a thousand messages per month with 50 source docs. It's a reasonable amount. And then if you want to increase that, then you can go with these other plans. But let's just go with the free version. So let's click on get started. And you got to enter in your work email. I already signed up for an account, so I will just log in. All right, so once you are logged in, you should see this dashboard. And there's actually a lot of different functions like creating a product tour, creating an onboarding checklist, creating surveys, creating a search bar. But we're just gonna go with this main one called AI Powered Help. So super easy to set up. I'll just show you how to do it real quick. So we'll click on set up AI chat. And so you can see on the right here is a preview of how the chatbot would look like. So you can connect to different types of documents that you may have. So if you have an existing customer support integration, you can just connect it with that. So let's just check out this help center button real quick. So if you have like Zendesk, Intercom, Freshdesk, any of these integrations, you can quickly just link it to command bar and it can learn the documentation that way. So that's one option or you can just connect to a site URL. If you have a web page with all the support documents listed already, you can do that. Or finally, you can add a custom doc. So this can accept any text or HTML. For us, we're just gonna go with add site URL. And for this example, we're gonna use the Stripe API reference. So let's say you are in charge of the customer support in Stripe and you want to create a chatbot on this page that answers any questions that developers might have about how to integrate the API and different functionalities. Well, you can just simply paste in this page that lists all the details, paste it in here, and it would scan all the information. All right, so now that this is live, you just click this. All right, and then we can change the title. So. Stripe API support, let's say, and then you can ask it anything. So for example, let's say, how do I set up a payment link? And you can see because it has access to all this information, it will scan all of this and find an answer for me on how I can set up a payment link. So you can see super quick and easy. It gave me the answers almost instantly. Let's try another one. How do I handle a refund? Perfect. So create refund endpoint, create a post request to this endpoint. So yeah, super easy and straightforward. Now to actually add this to the website, I'll show you how to do that. You just click on install to publish and it's pretty simple. Like it, it depends on what type of website builder you're using. So if you're using Webflow, WordPress, Wix, then click this. If you're using React, click this. So for example, let's say your website is on React. You can select all these options and then you simply just need to install the 
the plugin and then add the snippet of code to your site and then it would add the bot to the site. Super simple and straightforward. Let's look at, for example, Webflow, how you would do that. So again, the, the instructions are very straightforward. You just need to add the snippet to the header code and that is all. So again, this tool is called Command Bar. All right, so the next tool is called Chatwing. So very similar to the previous tool, this is a chatbot which you can train by feeding it your own documentation or support data. And then it can answer your customer's questions in a conversational way. I'll show you the pricing real quick first. It is a freemium model, so there is a free plan which gives you this many credits per month, 35 AI message credits per month. And if you want more, then of course you can pay for other options. But for this tutorial, we're just going to get started with the free plan. So I'm going to click get started. And once you register, you should be taken to this dashboard page. So first of all, we're going to need to connect a data source to train your chatbot on, right? So we'll click on data sources and then add new. And you can see there are several options here. Uh, the first one is website where you paste in your website and it's gonna scan not only that page, but all the pages that are linked to it. And then site map is basically you paste in your sitemap.xml file. URL list is if you have a list of URLs that you want it to scan only. This is a bit different from the website. I'll show you what I mean in a second. And then text is if you just have any text that you wanna paste in. Um, FAQ is you can add a Q&A section and then documents is if you want to upload a document. So for website, the difference between website and URL list, if you paste in a page, it's also going to crawl all the pages linked to it. And sometimes that's not what you want. So for example, let's go back to the Stripe API documentation page. So I'm going to copy the link to this page and paste it here and I'll show you what we get. So you can see, not only did it crawl this page, but it also found all these other pages, which we don't want, right? You can see there's other languages, etc. What if we only want this page, right? So I'm just gonna click on delete all, that's not what we want. Instead, what we're gonna do is go to the URL list and paste in that link. So now it's only going to scrape this, but not any of the pages linked to it. So you can see data source added successfully and the status of our bot is now training. So it's gonna take a while for this to train, but while it does that, we can add more information to the bot first. So if you go into testing, you can see that we still need to add some more information. So we'll go to chatbot settings and add in the information there. You can see for the configuration page, there's uh, plenty of different options. You can change the colors. So we'll go with blue, for example. You can change the width. You can add in a logo. You can customize the size and appearance of the icon of the chat. And you can also change the name of the bot. So let's just leave it at support bot. And then the first message, right, you can customize it. So right now it's showing, hi, how can I help you today? You can also add some predefined queries so that users can select them right away. So it's more of like a multiple choice thing. So for example, How do I add a payment link? Actually, we can just copy the same thing here so that the user can click this instead of typing it in. So it just offers a better user experience. So we will save that. And you can see it can use 3.5 or GPT-4. Of course, GPT-4 is a lot more expensive. So choose whichever one you have the budget for or which you prefer. All right, so we're gonna go back to the testing tab and see if it has finished training. Looks like it's still in progress, so it's gonna take a while before it finishes training on the data that we fed it, which is 
a lot of data. You can see it's a really long page, but let's just try to test it out real quick. So remember, we've set up this predefined question. So it's going to ask, how can I help you today? Let's assume the customer clicked on this. Let's see what it gives us. And this is not bad. This is clearly reading from the documentation. Let's try to ask it more details. Very nice. So you can see it's giving you the specific information on how to implement this. So you need to use this API endpoint, use these parameters, etc. So there you go. This is how you would train this chat link chatbot. And then to add it to your website, you just click on integrations, add to website. And super simple, you just copy this code to the head or body of your website. So pretty straightforward. You can add this on Wix, WordPress, Webflow, React, etc. So yeah, that is it for Chatlin. Super simple way to add a chatbot to your site that is trained on your own support or documentation data. So this next tool is super cool. It's called Tiledesk and it's an omni-channel customer service AI tool. So not only can you paste in a chatbot into your website, but you can also have a chatbot on your Facebook Messenger or on WhatsApp. So super cool and efficient tool. And I'm gonna show you how to implement this tool on WhatsApp and on your website. Before we jump in, I'll just show you the pricing page real quick. So this is a freemium model. There is a free monthly plan where you get two seats and 500 conversations per month. And if you wanna scale past that, then of course you'll need to pay higher amounts for more functionality. But we're just gonna get started with the free plan first. So I'm gonna click use Teldesk for free. Once you sign up for an account, you just need to enter in your name, email, details, etc. But once you go past that, then you should be taken to this dashboard. And I just named my project test project. So first step is to create a chatbot. So in this bot tab, we'll click on this. And then there are tons of predefined templates that you can use, or you can create one completely from scratch. But to save time, we're just gonna choose a predefined template. And there's a lot you can choose from. So there's a lead scoring template, there's a customer service bot, there's an FAQ bot, there's a shopping assistant for Shopify and e-commerce stores. Similarly, there's a place and order bot. There's a ticket issuing bot for customer support. There's a lead generation bot for your sales team. So yeah, a lot of predefined options already, um, but we're just gonna go with the customer service bot. So we'll click use template, import chatbot. So how this works is it's a bit different from the other bots where you can just paste in a document or a website and it just scrapes everything, it learns everything, and it can chat with your customers about any questions they have on your support documents. This is a bit different. So how this works is you have all these different blocks and you trigger these blocks based on conditions. Each block is basically a sequence of messages to take the customer through. So for example, this default customer service bot, it starts with the start block, okay? And how it starts is you can click the node to see the full string of replies, right? So hello, my name is Tommy and you can edit this to whatever you want. So my name is Bob, for example. How can I help you today? please pick one of the following options and then you can customize these, right? You can add a new one, you can delete these, you can switch the order around. And also you can add more actions, you can add conditionals, etc. So it's very customizable. I'll click on another block to show you how you can trigger it and what that looks like. So for example, change my order. Let's say you want to trigger this whenever someone types in, I want to change my order or something similar to that. So what you would do is after you click on this block, click train this block and you can see all of these, right? Change my order. Whenever the user says something that is similar to these options, it's going to trigger this block. 
So if the user says, I want to change my order, and you know, change my order is part of these options, it's going to trigger this. And what it triggers is this form and the reply. In order to complete your request, etc., etc. So it asks the user for more info. Right, here's another one. So close the chat. So when would this be triggered? This would be triggered when the user types in close the chat or close the window, for example, or end chat. Let's type in end chat. So that's another option. And what does this block do? Well, it replies, hope to see you again. And then it waits six seconds and then it closes the window. You can customize this to like just one second, for example. So that's the close the chat block. Let's try kids, for example. So here's what the reply thread looks like. Visit our kids collection through the link below and then they can click on this to go to the link. And then how this is triggered is if the user says anything to do with kids, or you can say like kids selection, or maybe boys, girls, etc. So this sequence will be triggered when the user types in this. So you can see the, the options you need to define yourself. It's not like just having it scan a website and learn everything there and that's it. So that's one thing that differentiates Tiledesk. The nice thing about it is you can try it on a variety of different platforms, including Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and of course, natively on your website. So let's try it on WhatsApp, for example. So we finished building this. Let's click try on WhatsApp. We're just gonna use WhatsApp web. So you can see exactly how we programmed it. So we can choose all these different options or you can say, because we just programmed the kids things, right? So let's say kids selection. And there you go. This takes them to the the kids page, or let's try to trigger another block. So return an item. Okay, so that triggers this. And then close the chat would trigger this. Hope to see you again. So yeah, you can set up a WhatsApp bot very quickly. We can also test this out on a website. So let's just open this. And there you go. So it's the same start sequence, right? So you can select any of these options. Let's try change my order. And you can see it's taking us through this change my order block. So yeah, this is Tiledesk, a very customizable way for you to set up a chatbot, not only on your website, but on WhatsApp, on Facebook Messenger, and on other different platforms. I'll also show you the settings real quick. So you can customize the widget to whatever you want. So you can add your different brand colors. You can customize when and where it displays, etc. So a lot of different options. And then to install it, you also are given a variety of options. So if you have a JavaScript site, you simply need to just paste this script element into your head tags. If you're using Shopify or WordPress, you do all these steps. So pretty straightforward to add this to whatever site you have. And that is all. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Also, we built a website where you can search for all the AI tools in the market. Check it out at ai-search.io.